Hello everyone, welcome back to another of my Kaguya-sama Season 2 reactions. We have reached the halfway point at Episode 6 today. I guess technically we'll be halfway after we've finished season, uh, Episode 6. Anyway, we're almost halfway through, and we are up to the day of the election, I believe. So this has been building up for a past couple of episodes, or two or three episodes. Um, a little bit sprinkled in here and there. But today it looks like will be the final day and we can have this sort of mini arc resolved where we have Miko Ino, who is gunning for the position of president. She is a fairly severe, sort of stern um, first year student who is looking to instill her values and uh, sort of stuff onto the onto the school via the role of the student council. Initially, they've seemed kind of dismissive about her because her plans don't seem like they'd be super popular, but at the same time, they, she's managed to instill a little bit of sort of fear into, or fear and doubt into Kaguya and Shiragane. So I guess we'll see what happens. Is there anything else to mention that happened last episode? The only thing I actually wrote down was the singing training arc which was pretty great for a couple of reasons um just because it was a nice callback to the volleyball thing which was possibly one of the funniest parts of the show altogether and also there was the just as a reminder that you know shirogane of sort of where shirogane is from how he's always had to sort of work hard to get everything lots of the others have probably quite wealthy parents and so have had educations in a wide variety of things from a very early age, singing and various arts and all that sort of thing, whereas Shirogane is there purely on the strength of how hard he studies, and anything else he achieves is also, again, through sort of sheer hard work at it. I don't know how relevant that is. Anyway, that was just something that came to me while I was thinking about the previous episode. So... This episode, we've got three skits. I don't want to make Miko Ino smile. I want to make Miko Ino smile. And Kaguya isn't getting called. Hmm. So yeah, I do want to... They've just sort of shown Miko Ino just a little bit previously, so I've been looking forward to see sort of more, and, more of her and her friend, um, Kobachi Osaragi. Yeah, so hopefully with the tying up of the election arc, we'll get to see more of that. So just a reminder that these are full-length timer reactions, which means you will need to get your own copy to sync up with me. I'll do a countdown, the timer will be just above my video, and uh, yeah, watch along and enjoy the episode with me. I will be starting in 3, 2, 1, now. I'm recording this in the evening, which is a bit different because normally I try to get these done Sunday morning, but I've been feeling a bit tired today, so didn't manage to quite get it done earlier. It does mean that the lighting in my room is a lot worse than when I record during the day. Now would be a good time to check that, yes, I am recording my microphone, and, okay. This really didn't take very long to grow on me, I gotta say. Oh yeah, so the thumbnail shows Ishigami standing next to Miko, I think.
then why the dot? Obviously there is. <laughs> oh no. That was a very earnest delivery. Ouch. <laughs> wow. They are prepared. Well done. So I guess that was put together by both Ishigami and, well, Shinomiya's delivery. I feel kind of sorry for her.
So that's what the yellow band must mean. Spoiled brats with good grades. Something lit a fire under her. He's given her <clears throat> He's given her the ability to just focus not on the huge crowd of eyes but <laughs> rubbing shaved head. Ha <laughs> 
Lucky. But that was good. Kagi always looks so like cute when she's just running around head down like that. She's like always so good at projecting this image. <laughs> This is her chance for growth as well. Nah. Pretty sure the whole council is going to be full of dysfunctional personalities. Wowie. Her mind. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny.
Ah, uh, of course he is nice to everyone. Did she jump out the window? Once again, he has the right words to say. <laughs> These two. I can't imagine how it must have been in his head. What was going through his mind, thinking, oh, despite everything, She's still going to reject me at the last moment, despite helping with the speech, despite all of the other stuff. And with a new member or two new members? I assume we can still see more of um, Osaragi, though. Just the same as we see some of the other, the other sort of friends and acquaintances that are outside of the council. That was nice. Shit. I promised I wasn't going to just say that. It's my most generic way of describing an episode, but it's... I don't know why. It's it's just what comes to, to mind, as boring as it is. The start was pretty funny. Gave us some insight into Osaragi's um, character. The sort of empathy that she felt that she couldn't even do this sort of figurative eating of a person even when it's just a you know a character representing a person and <laughs> she ended up even naming it which was pretty funny i can Great, I didn't have the timer on. This is really gonna suck. I think I mm, I think I know what happened. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, so we got some of that. That was a just a funny little bit at the start. We saw that Ishigami I like Ishigami's thought. Maybe it's sort of the two different ways that he feels about Miko and that she's irritating which is why he wanted to make sure that she was definitely defeated in a landslide but then it was the second part which you know he left he let out his thought that she tries so hard that it doesn't seem fair that she gets you know sort of humiliated at the same time 
So I feel like that was a really nice way to deal with it, that Shirogane sort of understood what was happening, or, yeah, he had a fairly good grasp on the whole nature of the thing. And he went up there, which, by his challenging her, both allowed her to face him, like gave her a reason to face away from the audience so that she wouldn't have to deal with talking in front of all of these you know, all of these other students who are just staring, which is quite intimidating. And actually be able to deliver on all of the things that she knew. Because obviously she's not a slacker herself. She she understands it's just that nervousness got the better of her. So that was really a big favour that he did her by letting her speak rather than just stand there quietly, you know, sort of mumbling, embarrassed into the into the microphone. People got to hear sort of her passion and her thoughts. Like pretty well, you know, reasoned out as well. We still ended up with um Shirogane getting the win, even if it did end up making the rest of his friends a lot more nervous about the whole thing. And yeah, and it and it built a bridge to between them and Miko, who otherwise would have been just another outcast who, you know, we got to see some of her backstory as well, someone who's And I've used this word a lot, but, you know, someone who's very passionate and obviously, you know, intelligent, works hard and everything, but just hasn't managed to connect properly. So I, this is good for her as well. She gets to join the council and the council gets to benefit from having this extra personality uh, mixed into it. So I'm looking forward to that. I, I, I like that. Um, and of course, at the end, we get more of these crazy, these crazy kids. Shinomi and Shirogane both just massively overthinking things. You feel like, you feel like they've made it somewhere. They've made some great steps. And I guess this is true. I can think of it myself as well. You get these moments where you're just... They're flying high just on their last successful interaction with the other person. And then despite that, the next time, suddenly, out comes the huge amount of doubt. There's no reason to, but there it is again. And suddenly each of them is just thinking, despite how well things have gone, what if, insert bad thing here, That's why I love this show. <laughs> this is this is so great. Anyway, this episode's out late, so I apologize for that. Well, I'm almost certain it is, because I'm going to have to figure out how I can put the timer in, because I've never had to do that before. And just because I recorded this late. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Tell me what you thought about it in the comments. Leave a like if you like this or a dislike if you didn't. And otherwise, I will see you next time.